town hall meeting is a gathering meant to give citizens the opportunity to ask questions and provide feedback to their representatives. This ranges from local politics, like city councils with open forums, to state and federal legislatures, and even presidential campaigns. Town hall meetings are typically scheduled into two sections, the legislator speaking on their duties and an open floor for questions from constituents. It is important to attend town halls as it gives you a chance to interact directly with your representative and make an impression. Direct contact is by far the most influential method of communication with government officials. You usually can find when and where a local town hall will take place through your representative's website. You should also be able to sign up for newsletters via email, call the campaign headquarters, or check the candidate's social media. Additionally, the Town Hall Project provides a resource tracking events across the nation. Town Hall locations often vary to allow attendance from an entire district or state. If you don't live in a densely populated area, this means that a future Town Hall might be much closer or several hours away, so take that into account. You want to leave a good impression, so it's important to plan ahead. First off, research all of your representatives. Look up their voting record and their stance on upcoming bills. If you disagree with how they have voted, you could ask them to explain their reasoning. If you're feeling generous, you could thank them for voting on a bill that you supported. In preparation for the town hall, brainstorm and create a list of questions before you attend. If you have an experience that could inform how a policy or specific piece of legislation will affect you, jot down some details to explain. Be succinct, no more than a couple of minutes, and be genuine. Order the list prioritizing the most important questions first and plan on having the opportunity to only ask one thing. As soon as the floor is open for questions, immediately raise your hand. The longer you wait, the more likely you won't have a chance to speak. Frame your questions to make it clear how you want the representative to take action in order to shut down any attempts at misdirection. Consider bringing a friend. Talk to people and see if friends family, co-workers, or other peers want to engage in political action. Then build a support group among those interested in attending. We are stronger together and even small collective action can demonstrate to your candidate that your group is a strong voting bloc. Disperse your group evenly throughout the crowd to ensure at least one of you are going to be called upon. Also, a friend in the crowd can capture video to promote accountability when a politician answers your question. Arrive early to talk to staff if you can. Be polite and ask your questions respectfully to get a candid response. Don't be rude, it won't help, and it will actively harm your chances of being heard. If your topic was asked before you got a chance to ask the question, amplify it by reframing or adding to it. Never leave early. If you are unable to ask your question or have additional questions, you may be able to ask them if they stick around. Even if the candidate leaves immediately, you can likely find a political director or campaign manager and try to speak to them instead. Give them a business card and a copy of your talking points to follow up with later. You can also take the opportunity to network with others at the event who are concerned with similar issues. After each event, hold them accountable by sending in a handwritten letter or a phone call on the policy you asked about. Reinforce your point, but continue to be polite. Moving forward, it's important to be tenacious and stay involved. Continue to show up in town hall meetings to remind them of your presence and increase your visibility and presence as a constituent. And even if you don't have the bandwidth to do multiple events, you can also try trading off with friends, advocating for the same policy across multiple meetings. Increasingly, town halls are conducted virtually. You'll want to prepare your talking points just as you would for in-person events. Learn which platform is hosting the town hall, then download it ahead of time so you can learn how to use it and troubleshoot any issues. Set up and familiarize yourself with the mute and video settings. Start meetings on mute with no video. Toggle on your video at the start of the meeting and only unmute yourself when called on. Test your background. If you are going to be on video, choose a clean and simple background because everyone is going to see it. Check the meeting agendas to stay aligned with the discussions. Join the meeting promptly. Digital meetings often have a limited number of attendees. Also make sure that everyone else in your political group is similarly prepared. Attending public forums like town halls and council meetings is very important to the well-being of your community. Meeting face-to-face -face has a strong effect on an elected official. They have to see you as a person rather than a number. 
and you can hold them accountable for bad answers and harmful policy. Thank you for watching. If you need help finding events in your area, check the links in the description. If you enjoyed our content, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to get notified about new PraxisU videos. Special thanks to Lilac Forest for the video suggestion and Ilkin Gamber, Worker Guy, and our other patrons for funding this video.